Hi guys, and welcome to my, where are we going into? June, <laughs> catwalk TBR video. So as if you saw, you will already know what I'm going into, but for those of you who are new, because I've had a few subscribers, so thank you for subscribing. Um, I took a break from my TBR game for um, April and May because my grandma fell. Uh, things were very much up in the air as far as what was going to happen with her. Um, I did go on a trip with my mom to Durango, Colorado, which was where my grandma lives. It's still up in the air as far as what's going to happen. But anyway, we went on a trip to help take care of my grandma for a week. Um, and that's because my aunt that lives um, just outside of Colorado... I was going to have my grandma live with her for a bit, um, but that week she had to go to a work conference, so my mom and I went. And then it was tax season, so my other aunt couldn't um, take her into her home. Plus, my one aunt that lives in the um, closer to my grandma, her house has a lot of stairs, and my grandma can't handle a lot of stairs. So, things are doing a lot better. She is out of the leg brace. She's now in a knee brace. Um... And she's doing much, much, much better. Um, definitely better than we had anticipated at this stage. She still is struggling, but she's doing much better. We don't know um, if this is pretty much the end of her living on her own or if she'll be able to live on her own. So right now she's living with my aunt outside of Durango. So she's doing much better. Um, and then in May, I was a co-host for Horror Mayhem. Um, and so because of that, and with what was going on in April, I took a break from my Catwalk TBR just because of life, and I really didn't know what to expect going into it, and I just couldn't make some major commitments as far as what I'm going to read other than like committing for Horror Mayhem for four books. So, I said in June, if I didn't finish my March Catwalk TBR, I would take some punishments. So, for my game, for a punishment, it means to move backwards instead of forwards. So, that's what I'm going to do. I did not finish my March Catwalk TBR. I still, we still have one full week of March as of filming this, um, or not March, May. Today is May 22nd when I'm filming this. So I have this full week and then Memorial Day weekend. At least here in the United States, it's Memorial Day weekend next weekend. And my work schedule is kind of messed up. <laughs> um, as far Because I have to work every holiday like that. So I am just going to count it this week. And I'm just going to say I'm done. <laughs> and because there's no way, because there's three more books... And there's no way I'm going to get three additional books read by the end of this month before Memorial Day. And then um, that would give me like the last, like May 31st, right? Yeah, May 31st to film and all of that. And I would like to get this up May 31st or May 30th. So, yeah, I'm just going to figure... And it's getting busier at work, so I have less downtime to read. Because always leading up, the first couple of weeks leading up to a holiday get very busy. So, with that being said, there are three books on my March Catwalk TBR that I did not get to. So we're not going to worry about those. They'll just go back on my bookcase and I'll read them at a future point. So, I will move back three spaces. I do five rolls on a little dice app on my phone. So we'll do five of those, but three of them will be going backwards and then two moving forward. Roll number one. Three. So going backwards, one, two, three. So that is catnip, a book less than or equal to 250 pages. For the prompt of Catnip, which is a book that is less than or equal to 250 pages, I thought, well, I can. I need to get on the readathon book. So we are reading The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. So I will be reading that book out of this bind-up of the Chronicles of Narnia. 
which is by C.S. Lewis. And <laughs> The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe in this particular edition is 86 pages. So it'll be good to get to that. So we're following three siblings. I believe it's the youngest one that finds it first is um, basically a door to another portal. And so it's a younger middle grade, I think, portal fantasy. Um, so yeah, so The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis, again, is only 86 pages in this edition. Roll number two. Come on. Five. One, two, three, four, five. That is a paw print, which is a random generator. So there are three. So I'm going to change the max number to three. I have three different random generators. So now we'll generate. Two. Oh. Okay. So two is right here in the middle. And... That's a random color generator. So let's figure out the color of the of that's on the cover. <laughs> like a royal blue. Sweet. Alright, so a paw print is one of the random generators that I have. And I have three random generators that I generally pull from, and I just generate a random number to pick one of those. So for this one. I ended up getting a random color generator, which ended up with a kind of like a royal blue. So for this one, I am going with the Paradox Hotel by Rob Hart. So this one definitely has closer to these little warped circles, more of that royal blue that was on that. So that's what I'm going with. I really don't know anything about this. I won this off of a Goodreads giveaway. Um, I'm trying to see... This was published, the tentative publica publication date was February of 2022, so this should, I believe, is already out. And of course, with this being a advanced reader's copy, I don't know what this particular book is about. I'm trying to see, yeah, I there's no, <laughs> no synopsis or anything, so I'm going in extremely blind on this. So... When I do the wrap up, I can tell you what it's about, but right now, I don't know. So, but the Paradox Hotel, Hotel by Rob Hart. Rule number three. Five again. One, two, three, four, five. Catnip, a book less than or equal to 250 pages. All right, so prompt number three that I got was another catnip. Thank goodness this is a book that is less than or equal to 250 pages. So I'm getting the second book out of the Chronicles of Narnia on this. And the second book that we are reading, and again, this is going to be in publication order, is Prince Caspian. And in this bind-up edition, Prince Caspian is 101 pages. So they're very short reads. I don't know how dense it is, but definitely I can read that in one day. <laughs> so that'll be good. Um, but yeah, so Prince Caspian. Okay, now to start going forward. So roll number four. That's a two. <laughs> so one, two. <laughs> YouTube. YouTube plus three prompts. Okay, so we've got most of the prompts. <laughs> so now I am sitting here to, because we've got a YouTube prompt, and so now I need to pull a YouTuber or a booktuber out of here that does TBR games. So with this particular level, when I draw or land on the YouTube prompt, it's an additional three books. So I need to, for this particular level, pick a booktuber that does a TBR game, and then I will pick three of the prompts that they do, and then I will find a book to fit their prompts. So let's go ahead and this thing is full. 
So uh, let's go with this one. Okay. And <laughs> okay. This is uh, Dices 19 Diaries. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I said that channel name wrong, but I will link the, um, the channel in the description box and I'll go off of her most recent TBR game. She does a thing with rotating decks and so she rotates Uno card decks. She has different versions of Uno cards. So I will go off of her most recent TBR game. I don't think she has one for June yet, unless it's come up and I haven't seen it yet as of today. <laughs> but as of filming this, I think her most recent one is for May. So if that's the case, that's the one I'll pull from. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up her video and I'll pick the three prompts and then I'll come back with the books. So then as you will have seen me draw from my jar of booktubers that have games, I got her, um, it's pronounced Dai, and it, it's her rotating decks. Is that what it's called? Yeah, rotating decks. As of filming this, her most recent TBR game is for May. Um, and she and I had to do three prompts from her TBR game, which she actually only ended up with three prompts. One of which was a skip card, which means she didn't have to pick a book for that prompt, which means I don't either. So that's one less book I have to read. But I went with two. This was a bit more difficult. I'm having to kind of come up with a different type of a prompt for it. Because one of her prompts was a book that she bought in 2013. And the other prompt that she got was a book that she bought in 2012. I don't keep track of when I buy books, so I have no idea what I bought in 2013 or in 2012. I just know I've bought a lot of my books. So I twisted it. So with so she uses mostly an Uno deck of cards, and then she has like five additional decks. And then if the Uno gives her a blue, she pulls a prompt from a blue deck of other cards. And so one of the prompts that she got was a blue nine, and then there was a yellow... I don't remember what the number was, um, but she classified it as a yellow deck. Um, so, because I don't know when I bought things, I am actually going to go with books that have blue on the cover and then a book that has yellow on the cover. So, for a book that has blue on the cover, I am going with A Brush With Love by Maisie Eddings. This is also an advanced reader's copy that I won from Goodreads. I really need to get to these better. This went on sale on March 1st, so this book is already out. Um, all I know is that, so Harper is the female main character. She's focused on becoming an oral surgeon, and Dan um, is a dental student. So, yeah, so a brush with love. Okay. And then for... <laughs> For her yellow deck, I'm going with a book that has yellow on the covers, and this I really want to get to, um, but I'm going with The Do-Over by Bethany Turner. So you can see the um, little sun or moon there is yellow, the author's name is in yellow, the woman's dress here is yellow, <laughs> and then there's some yellow wording on the back, back, and then the author's other book is in yellow here too. So. Um, and the title is in yellow on the spine. So this works. That's what I'm going to figure it as. So <laughs> um, I don't know any about this one other than, let's see, I can tell from that the she's career-driven McKenna Keaton. Um, oh, it says that she has devoted her life to attaining the senior partnership at her law firm. So if you're looking for a book it has legal aspects to it, this would probably be a good choice. So, The Do, Do Over by Bethany Turner. Okay, officially roll number four, uh, yeah, four again. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Vet. A book that is, um, greater than or equal to 500 pages. However, this one has a little note here on the side that says go back to. 
So we're just going back one, two, but I don't need to do that prompt. Okay, prompt number four, that official prompt number four that I got, unfortunately landed on VET, which is a book that is greater than or equal to 500 pages. The book I selected is 527 pages, so it fits the prompt. And I'm looking forward to this one, and that is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. Um, I believe this is inspired by Asian War. So that's really all I know. But yeah, The Poppy War, um, something about empires, it's going to be war, and something about finding the most talented students in the Nicara Empire. So, yeah. So The Poppy War. And I've heard this can be a very difficult read because of the subject matter. So definitely, if this is something you're interested in reading, look up trigger warnings. Um, but 527 pages. So I, I will get this one done. Time for prompt number five. This one will be the last roll. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Another paw print, which is a random generator. Okay, so generating a new number between one and three. The number is three. So going back to my random generators, so going from right to left, I think you're left to right. So anyway, so one, two, three, that's this third one here, which is random picture. So let's generate the picture I'll be basing the next pick off of. So there's an alarm clock, or I can go specifically with the number nine because it's bold but something about time, time management, or just something like that. Okay, and then the official fifth prompt was another random generator, and I got a random picture, which you will have seen is like an alarm clock. I don't have anything with an alarm clock on it that I could find, and I'm not going through 700 books, <laughs> so physical books. Um, so I'm, I thought it could also just have something to do with time, or I have a clock on it. If I can find one, either like a clock or a watch, um, or even the word clock on it. Just something along those lines. So I decided to go with this particular book, and it is just over 200 pages. This edition is 212 pages, it looks like. Yeah, 212 pages, so a fairly short read. And that is A Clockwork Orange. And this is by Anthony Burgess. This one, it says, um, Influential night time, Nightmare Vision of the Future. Criminals take over after dark. So that's part of the time aspect as well, because once it's after dark, obviously it's going to be in the evening, which is a part of the time. Criminals. So, uh, yeah, I don't, other than knowing this is a classic, that's all I all I know about this one. So, A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. So, clockwork, clock, in the title. So that is going to be it for my June 2022 TBR game. Um, let me know if you've read any of these books. Um, if you, and what you've thought of these books, if you've read them. Or whatever you want to tell me in the comments section below, just talk to me, and that is fine as well. So again, that is it for this video. Until next time, stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book, and I'll talk to you later.